You want to have fun, laughter, and a relationship. But there are times when humor can help a relationship. But believe me, there are times <laughs> that humor can hurt a relationship. With your sense of humor? It, it's been known to happen. So in today's Relationship Reboot, we're talking about how humor can help you to better connect. Our relationship guru, Kirsten Lynn Seal, is here. I love this topic because I think that we've all kind of found ourselves on both ends of this. Right. Your humor has maybe, you know, brought you guys together or maybe it's caused a fight. Right, right. Maybe you said something that you thought was really funny and it landed completely flat on your partner. Oops. Right, oops. Yes. So <laughs> We've both uh, we've, done that. We've talked about this a, a couple Correct, of times yes. in between commercial breaks. Right, right. And one of the interesting things I think about uh, the research on humor is that there's a, there's a part of it that it's almost like if you know the rules, that's going to help, hmm. right? But, uh, but the research on this, and I actually thought it was, I mean, of course there's research on it, but I thought it was fascinating. There's four different types of humor, okay. right, huh. that the researchers have it's sort of come up with. It's more than just good jokes and bad jokes. It's more than just good and bad, although they do sort of fall into, like, the positive and the negative camps. But in the negative camp, there's also some kind of contradictory research, hmm. which is okay. interesting, right? So let's do the four types. Right, so the four types. So, so the first type, it's self-deprecating, self-enhancing, and this is humor that we use to sort of break the tension if we're having a hard time, if something's going wrong, mm. sort of thinking about a, having looking at things from a humorous perspective, okay. like like oh. you're 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 at the airport waiting for this the plane to Aruba for your vacation, <laughs> and it's late, and then it gets canceled, and you say to your family, "Well, at least we're here on time, right?" Like, <laughs> right. I mean, stuff you like keep that. Keep it positive. Exactly. Okay. The second type is joining, so that's much more about interpersonal stuff when you make jokes together, and that actually that first example would go for both of those. So it's perspective taking, and also you're joining. You're you're sort of helping everybody feel better. Mm. So that's like affiliative. We're affiliating, we're joining together. And okay. that is a real help in relationships. Then the two less positive, more negative, one would be aggressive humor, which we see a lot. And there's some scholars that, that sort of split it out into sort of mild, mild teasing, sort of gentle teasing. Mm. And then there's really sort of mean teasing, where you put each other down, sort of like, you know, boom, 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 boom. And that generally tends to happen sort of, it's more of a back and forth type of thing. Mm. Um, I was actually talking to my husband about this, who grew up with four brothers. And he was like, well, this is just what we did. We all, yeah. you know, but you sort of, you gave as good as you got. And he used the metaphor of puppies wrestling and then biting oh. with their sharp teeth and I was like yeah but sometimes that draws blood right so if you take that gotta that, be careful yeah. you gotta be careful with yeah. that and then and the, but the most toxic type is self-defeating humor which is when you say something um, really negative about yourself sort of in order to preempt what anybody else might say right like yeah. Joan Rivers for example as a comedian she was a she was a master of this she said horrible things about herself it was almost like nobody could say anything worse because she was busy saying all these horrible things but that's really connected with a lot of you know depression suicidality a lot of a lot of, lot of troublesome things. I find that interesting because you would think in that situation, like, oh, they have such a good handle on themselves, they can laugh at themselves. Right. How do you find the exactly. balance between the, well, the first positive self-deprecating versus self-defeating? Right. Well, because self-deprecating has more of a, sp a positive spin. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you'll make, like, a gentle joke. Um, well, like, two weeks ago when you were like, yeah, the, she was a dancer, but, you know, the, the legit kind. Do you right, know? It's like, right. yeah, right? I mean, that's, that's sort of, it's, yeah, I was. Oh, now give an example of when he said, did a negative one. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're 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 pretty good. You're you pretty you good. definitely have to pick up on this though. Mm, Very early yes. when I was dating my wife, yes. I had made a, a, a sarcastic remark. Right. And she had said, she's like, that was really mean. And I was astonished because it never even crossed my mind that it was mean. Right. And she was right. It was mean. It wasn't right. intentionally mean, but it was exactly. mean. Exactly. And that's what I mean about understanding the rules. And this is what's interesting about, so the aggressive humor piece, what's interesting is there's something of a gender split. So when men use aggressive humor, like in groups, you know, sort of like giving each other a hard time, that tends to not affect their well-being. Like they can mm -hmm. sort of manage that fine. I don't mean to say that women can't do that. It's just sort of yeah. generally speaking is what the research says women tend to do that less well and what you're explaining right here is a perfect example of you using one sort of humor style and you, and your wife being like uh, you know what no that's not really yeah. landing right but what's great is that she said something to you about mm -hmm. that right that's really important we would have never stayed together if she did not intervene early and say like well, hey that's exactly. not going to work for us and you listened to her right yeah. so that's the whole sure. piece and you repaired right we talk a lot about mm -hmm. that with relationships absolutely yeah. so oh, great advice well keep laughing yes yeah. yes keep and, laughing. and to you yes thank you <laughs> thank you